Originally, I was born in Great Britain and then moved to Australia when I was one year old. Grew up in Australia and now I am an American. I started off University of Sydney, then I was at University of New England, then I was at the University of Technology Sydney, then I was at the University of East Anglia in the United Kingdom, then I was at the University of Wales, and most recently I've been studying at Harvard University. Oh, I would definitely describe myself as easy to get on with. <laughs> You know, leadership's an interesting one. Often people think of it as a pyramid. And leadership's not really a pyramid, it's kind of a horizontal thing. So I would say if I've got a leadership style, which is collaborative, which, which is the thing I'm clearly getting to, it's also about empowering other people so that your whole leadership style is the fact that you're not the only leader in the room. Oakland's kind of an interesting university in many ways and sometimes ways that people don't really know. This was the first university that was actually informed by honours college ideas. It wasn't an honours college, but it was informed by it. In addition, when you get here and you talk to the students, and that was what happened during the interview, I talked to the students and I asked them what they were doing, and one was off doing an internship, one had just gone back from a study abroad in Japan. So when you hear that stuff and you realise what the origins of Oakland are, you can't not think, wow, what a place. So I've been Dean of the Honours College since uh, 2012 here at Oakland University, which is my favourite role. But equally favourite perhaps is I've been the professor of record, I've been the person that has been in charge of the Making Discoveries Freshman Colloquium for Honours College students, which means I get to meet all the Honours College students, I get to introduce speakers to all the freshmen in the first semester that they're here at Oakland, and we have a great time. A really interesting thing about Oakland is just the, the embedding of excellence in the perception of what we want to achieve. You know, students come in with quite a deal of aspiration. The fact that they don't come in ready to sit and wait to suddenly be recognised. They want to get on and actually achieve. And that let's do it attitude is the thing that I just find really invigorating. For a professor, it's the best thing ever. Really the OC is always a winner because I like to sit in the OC and just be there. I'll take a laptop and I'll do a little bit of work in there. But when people walk past and they go, oh, it's Dean Harper, hi, and you know, get a chance to talk to people. So that traffic flow through the OC is really good. Every commencement, I am so proud of the students that graduate from Oakland. And when they graduate from the Honours College and they've done the extra uh, community service and completed a huge project, I am just beyond proud. That proud moment became significant last year when the Nobel Prize uh, Chair, the Vice Chair, I should say, of the Nobel Prize congratulated our Honours College students. And then this year, to follow up from that, it's the largest ever group ever, well over 250 students in total this year. So those have been big moments. <laughs> the Honours College has been increasingly well recognised. In the next 10 years, I expect that to increase, not just nationally, but internationally. So honours education is growing. I've just published a book on global honours education. I'm publishing another book on the future of honours education. I think the Honours College here will be leading the way on a lot of those things and people will notice it. I did train as a boat builder. It was a great thing working with your hands. I enjoyed that experience. I'd, I'd be involved in boat building during the, the day through until the early afternoon and then I'd go surfing. That was a good job, but by far my greatest job was Dean of Honours College by far. Well, my wife Louise and I are together in crime, as it were, and we have been for many years. So we've travelled the world together and we've been together for well over 30 years now. And I have two sons, uh, indeed. One, uh, both Oakland graduates, the one who actually works in, in development, and the second son, indeed, who will get married, uh, I, I suspect, very shortly. And two cats. I love The Big Lebowski, is kind of my quirky favourite movie. And I'm a big Fast and Furious franchise fan, so. My wife is an absolutely fantastic cook. She's worked in restaurants around the world and she's also just loves to do it. So the difficulty of favourite food is she does so many things and they're so, so good. But I do have a Saturday night pizza night, which is my kind of, okay, let's see what we can do with the pizza. And I do enjoy that. 
for one of the biggest and longest trips, it was over six months, uh, that my wife and I did when she was girlfriend rather than wife, uh, was r right the way through Europe. Enjoyed travelling through North Africa as well. Mostly at the moment and probably for some time to come, I'm still enjoying, despite having been here for a long time, discovering parts of America that I didn't know. Well, you know, with music, I just love all of it so much. So the students will tell you that I actually play music before every uh, Making Discoveries freshman colloquium. If I'm to sit there listening to anything and those are not who I'm listening to, I might be listening to The Stones or you know, something from Everlast or something like that, just kind of a range. But I just love a lot of music. I really enjoyed when we read Steve Gazisto's Have Dog Will Travel. It's a very sort of lyrical book and the story is very moving. In many ways, an unexpected read. Oh, definitely summer. I mean, I, I can do uh, winter, but I can only just do it. I used to be a surfer on a regular basis. I don't surf as often at the moment because there's not a lot of waves around. But I also, as many surfers used to do, and as I still do, I skateboard. Most certainly Oakland University is my favourite university. It's full of aspiration, it's full of creativity, it's just a great university.